Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you are new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So, the other day I did with you guys some fun painty papers on some um, craft deli paper, is what it is, and... I got like 500, I got 500 sheets of it off Amazon and I will post all the, if I don't put it up in the right hand corner here, uh, cause I can only do a certain amount up in the right hand corner and, uh, I'll put the links down below. It's the Amazon links down there that you guys can come click on and come purchase these and they're fun to play with, but I got all kinds of stuff that we're going to play with today. Uh, in the comments, I asked you guys if you wanted to see the next step to decorating these and I will post in the right-hand corner the link the that we did, the first link together of us painting these together. So I will post that up here into the right-hand corner. And um, yeah, so today I got tons of comments on it. So I'm excited. Thank you for commenting. And let's do the next steps to see how we can get these a little funner. A little more funner. Is that the word? Is that a good word? <laughs> All right. So we got those, and I'm just going to show you guys today what I what I'm possibly going to be throwing in to use on these. Uh, first of all, this stuff. Uh, let's start off with um, paint. I got tons of just different kinds of paints we might, you know, use in this. May or may not, because we already have paints on it. So I'm just saying it. But any kind of paint, Liquitex, Essentials, uh, Apple Barrel, any kind of acrylic paints you have. And that's what we did for the base of all the papers is acrylics. Okay, and then some gesso. Probably play with that today. And um, I don't know if I have this link down below, but I will. I'll, I'll try to put this one down below for you guys to come check out. Um, now, I know I got my stencils down there, if you guys want to go see those. This is a 100-piece set of stencils, and they're really cool. They just got, like, different. They're 2 by 2 inch, and you get a 100 of them. Um, it's a really good deal, but they're just fun. They have like butterflies, flowers, bees, all just all kinds of good spring birds. Uh, yeah, they're just really cool to use, especially on like, um, you know, tags and little, little things like that too. But it's a hundred piece set and I will put those to the side. We'll be using those sometime. Uh, distressed, uh, texture paste from Ranger. Probably throw some of that in there. Uh, and then this is my 10 piece set of the bigger, and these are fun to play with too. So you got different wildflower scenes on it. And just fun little, there's, these are really cool to play with. So we'll be seeing what we can do. And then I love this one. I'll have to do a cool V one. You got the bees. And the dragonflies, butterflies. So it's just all really cool. Oh, and this one's really neat too. The birds. So yeah, so this is one of my 10-piece set stencils. The bigger ones. Put those to the side. And then this is another 10-piece set of like background textures, which are really cool to play with. So we'll see what we could do with those today. They're showing up here, but yeah. So, like I said, I'll have it all down for you guys. So this one's cool. Down underneath the description, and then this scroll stamp or a word stamp, I guess is what you could call it. It's just a little word stamp, and then I got permanent ink that I use for that. It's just some permanent ink I've had, ink pad. This I got down at the store. It's just a, it's a makeup brush cleaner. And I th it makes kind of cool little patterns on it and stuff. So we'll try stamping with that. Uh, just a paint palette or even a, just a lid would work too. Just anything to put some paints in. We'll just do some dipping and painting. And then I got a little spray bottle of Rit Dye. Um, and I'll show you guys. And this is uh, just Rit Dye, it's liquid. And I use it just with my tie-dye stuff that I do. But I think I got a wine color in here and black mixed together. So we'll do a little spritzing maybe on a stencil. Let's see how that turns out. Um, maybe some Distress Oxide with your dauber. You might throw that. You never know. You never know. 
what's gonna happen around here. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, and a glass of water, and then maybe some paint brushes, a little, uh, is it a trowel? I, I don't know, this little paint palette thing. <laughs> and yeah, oh, and gloves, because we're gonna get messy. We're gonna get messy, like get messy. Oh, and then I saw this, we have messed with our pool. We had an old pool noodle. So I think this will be fun to dip in some paint and make some cool texture stuff. Little prints. Okay, so I also had some tea bags that I threw outside to dry because I like to take my tea bags and uh, after I'm done using them, I let them, I dry them out because I like to paint on them and use them for decoupage and stuff. So I took a bunch of them and threw them out on the, on these papers just to get them grungier so you could see. That turns out really cool. So that's a fun thing to think about. Okay, and let's get started here. Let's go ahead and start with one, is always good. And see where it takes us. Okay, so I wanna start with some texture background. So let's do some of these and just see what kind of fun textures we can do. So, um, oh, and also a wet washcloth works too because I'm gonna have to wipe my stencils off, especially if I'm spraying them with a writ dye. Um, oh, and then some stamps, other stamps, just whatever you got hanging around. So pretty much anything you got hanging around, we'll see what we can, you can do with it, you know? Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out or if it'll even show up. Kind of. Might be too close to the color. I should probably put some more black in it and make it just black. I will try that. Yeah, that didn't really show up too much. Okay, let me, I'm going to add more just black to this and see, we'll see that, what that does. Okay, so I added some more black to it, and let's see here. I'll try this one. It doesn't need much here. So there we go. So it's kind of fun just to do some stencil sprays. Just see what you come up with, and then turn it over and get the other side of it. So that's definitely one option. So I have to lay that to dry. Just to get some background here. Do a little distress black soot. You can definitely use your, and it doesn't even need to be the whole thing. You just do some like that. So it kind of just gives it a little bit of texture throughout. So there, that's something to play with. So definitely some Distress Oxide with the stencil works great. Our Distress Texture paste. So just take some on here. And then just hold it down. And then just kind of, once you smear it around, just kind of wipe it off. Like that. Of course, I got a hair right there. Jeez. Throw that in the mix. Okay. And then just try to scrape off as much as you can here. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you rinse your stencils off because this, you don't wanna dry into it. So, oh my gosh, is that so cool? So this is definitely an option to do. And it's pretty quick and easy. You just kinda down there and then smooth it right back off and there you go and you can even so you don't waste it take some of this off here 
because you don't want to put a bunch of that down your drain when you're rinsing it in the sink because it'll plug everything up. So just try to scrape off most of it, but you can. But these stencils are nice to use. They're smooth. And uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty good purchase here. There we go. Um, I like how they're tiny and you can do whatever with them. You can work on small projects, you can work on big projects with them. Okay, and then I'm just randomly going places here. No rhyme or reason. Okay, and you don't want to get it too thin. You want to make sure you get a good build up here. Getting it on the paper. Okay, there we go. Well, that's cute. And then you could just take it if you've got it somewhere you don't want it and just kind of scrape it off. So there we go. So that's another option you could do. And I'm gonna go rinse these off and I'll be right back. All right, so that one's looking good. So those are some ideas. A full noodle here. Let's get some fun. So you can find all kinds of stuff around the house just to do some stamping with. Spritz that a little bit. So that's a fun idea, is to just take some fun things to stamp around. Okay. Gotta have some gold. And there we go, it just makes some stamps. Just some interest stamps on it for the background. Like that. Yeah, fairly cheap, so that's a fun little thing to do to add. Get some stamping. I like that. I don't want to do too much. So that's a fun thing to do on the backgrounds more black and just kind of you could do some more you know just more bold strokes on it just kind of give it a little more interest so that's something you can always add to and then we can even do a little spritz here and there kind of gives it something. So that's another thing you can do. Okay, I wanted to show you guys you can also use uh, washi tape. This is an empty washi tape roll and just a, it's just a drink bottle lid. So stuff like that to keep because it does a really cool different size, you know, prints here. So you can play around. You just get different textures and sizes. So even after you do all the circles and stuff, I think they turn out cute. You could take some color here and just kind of go in here. Yeah, just play around. It doesn't even have to be the whole circle, just kind of. Not sure why I just now thought of this, but I have a stencil brush. Uh, it's the flat brushes on the top. So I think this is gonna definitely work better. And you just kind of dab it on there. There we go, now we're cooking. There, so yeah, just get a flat brush on the top and that makes it a little bit easier. Let's see, that's kind of fun just to do a little stamping after. Okay. I 
There we go, much better. Okay. And let's do a little sunshine. Is that sunshine or a flower? I think it's a flower. Oh, it might be a flower. It could be whatever I want it to be. So there we go. And you just do a little dabbing. A little dab will do you here. So there you go. So that's fun. Okay, so that one's done. I think it turned out great. And you just lay them somewhere to the side to dry. Do that. Okay, so I came up with an idea. I thought that was be Well, since I said decoupage, I think it'd be fun. Let's try it. So I got these black napkins. And uh, my husband and I went to the restaurant. And uh, they had black, really cool napkins. So I was like, yep. <laughs> so I got them, and then I... Uh, I think they were only two ply, so I went ahead and ripped them in half here. And let's see. So I got PVA glue, Elmer's glue, and water, and it's pretty much just 50 50. And I just put it in an airtight container. So that's what I like to use. Okay. And just go ahead, and what you do is you put down the glue, whoops, put down the glue first where you want it. That's okay. We'll use it off the table. That's why I got this cloth down. It helps. So, because I'm always making a mess. That's okay. I'll just use it off the table. So just go ahead and do that. So that's fun. And let's see where else. All right, so I think this turned out really cool. So just any, you know, decoupage you can do. You could do it with tissue paper, napkins, paper towels. Uh, just make sure you use the one ply of it all. And um, pattern paper, which is great, like in the sewing packs that you can get, like them calls and the Butterwicks and stuff. Uh, all that is kind of like a tissue paper and it's got cool sewing stuff on it. So all those are great to use, but now, I'm gonna take some of my gesso here and do some fun just on the edges and stuff with some white. I think that'll bring it out really nice. So I'm just squirting a little bit here. So just to do, it's still a little wet. I should probably wait for it to dry, but that's okay. So I think it's kind of fun with the black here. a cool contrast. I'd love to know in the comments if you guys let me know what you think. I think it turned out really cool. I like this one the best so far. So now let's try this. Let's get our paintbrush wet here. The best way to do this, though, is with a fan brush. And we could do some splatters. So you just get some paint on it, get it wet, and then just put your finger here and do some splats. Just like that. So that's really fun. Okay, that makes a mess, but isn't that the fun part? All right, and you can even do maybe a fan stroke here and there. There. Ta-da! So I like that one. I think that turned out really cool. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys one more. And I'll be right all right, so I wanna use these for the last thing here is some big, these bigger stencils I have. And this is my 10 piece set. So I'm really liking these. And um, I think I'm gonna just stick with the acrylic black. I think that turned out cool. And I'm just gonna continue and dab all the way and do both of these and we'll see how they turn out. So this turned out really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys have to play with these stencils. They're so much fun. But, so I did the birds over here and I think those turned out neat. And I'll get better pictures outside. I'll take them out and get some nice pictures at the end, you guys can see. Um, and then the bumblebees, and then I did gold on the crown and the uh, leaf right there. But I think what I wanna do is try to put it back on because that didn't show up that good. And I want to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm trying to line it back up, which is tricky. Okay. And then take some more black. I want to keep it goldish, but I want it to show up a little better. Just get some fun things and see where it takes you. Well, that's cool. So that shows up a little better. Um, let's see here. I'm going to grab another one that's almost dry. I think this is the first one we did. I can't really even see what's on there. And I want to go like this. Let's try it. And then I'll talk to you guys about what you could do with these papers. Okay, so let's see. I don't know how much it's going to come off. I mean, I could try my brayer. Uh, also, brayers. I have that down in the links if you want to come check them out. I'm pretty sure I do. And if I don't have something down there that you guys saw on the video, uh, let me know and I will put it down. Uh, and yeah, it helps. Ooh, look at that. Kind of. Got something. If it was a little wetter, maybe if I sprayed it. Yeah, let's try. We're expanding, right? Maybe just a wee bit of wet. But I need to wash these off before they get stuck like that. So let's see. And then you just start messing around here. Well, I helped a little bit. Just did a little spritz. All right, this one's probably way dry because I did it first. So let's just give it a little bit. Just to give an impression. Okay. Meh. If I would have done it right away, it would probably work better. But that's an idea you can do. So I want to let you guys know what you could do with these is... Um, they're perfect to take and like this one I could cut in half and then put it into a junk journal have it as a page or you know take them and make them the size of your journal and you could have them uh, as fun just painty papers in your journals just you know thrown in there um, you can decorate it like this one's really cool it'd be a cool little cover that could be you know you can go like this and have maybe a cover of a journal and then that could be the back of the journal so you could do stuff like that um, you could cut this off and just glue it into one of your journal pages. You could do that, or you can, you know, take a section, like, just cut off, like, a piece of this one and use them as, like, master boards and, uh, glue them. You can glue this whole thing to, like, a manila envelope or a, um, a manila folder and, uh, not envelope, a manila folder or cardstock, you know, like if you guys have any just, you know, cardstock or anything like that, you could just take it and glue it on there. Uh, you could even uh, you sew it if you wanted, but do, and you could do some sewing just all throughout. Uh, I just wouldn't want your cardboard to be too thick. Maybe a manila uh, 
folder would be a little better. And you could do some interest sewing and stuff like that. And then cut them up and do belly bands with them, pockets, uh, corner tucks, you know, uh, just anything like that that you can think of. These are perfect for. And they're already ready to go. I'm just going to put them all into a pile somewhere, I'm sure. And I'll have them just ready to go. Like when I do my journals, I'm going to definitely be adding these papers to them. And uh, just playing around with them. So those are my ideas. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you guys will see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.